Guys, so Stephanie is um, learning to paint a car, and we were talking about it because it's it's a little tricky because there's so many different um, things that you need to assess for different kinds of paint, the weather, humidity, uh, just all kinds of different things, and that made me think of a reason to do a video. You guys want. And I'll, I'll correlate this with driving a car. Whenever you learn to drive a car, you're going to get directions on how to drive a car, right? You're going to get the basics on how to drive a car. Remember back when you first learned to drive a car and you were very careful and cautious about everything. You did everything just exactly right. But over time, you found out that depending upon the weather and where you were driving and who the other drivers were, that you had to make slight adjustments all the time. So when you're driving, you make these slight adjustments all the time, right? Well, now you do it without even thinking about it. You just automatically make these slight adjustments. Well, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're doing. So when I do these videos, what I'm doing is I'm giving you Driving Lessons 101, and I'm giving you all these little hints like defensive driving, what to watch out for. And then what you have to do is moment to moment, you have to correct. You have to correct to your beliefs and situations and things that come in, things that you created yesterday that you don't realize you created that you've got to correct for. And you're going to do this tweaking, tweaking, tweaking thing nonstop. So you, you, so many people want a book they want a little pamphlet or any kind of book it says okay do this then this then this and you will get there except it can't happen like that and that's the reason why something like the Gita that started out small ends up being years later thousands upon thousands upon thousands of books same thing with the the Bible any book that tries to give you those basic driving instructions or even add to it defensive driving instructions, still cannot tell you every single tweak that you might run across in how you deal with it. And it never will. And they'll never be successful because you always have to incorporate in your beliefs and the people around you. You have to be able to assess the circumstance all the time and tweak accordingly. Okay? So when I do videos and I tell you that I am still driving, I am still tweaking, so don't do what I am doing exactly. The reason why I give you examples of how I'm doing it and how I'm tweaking it is for you to remember to get really in touch with yourself so that you can do your own tweaking because you cannot drive. Nobody can drive in the car with me. I can't take you anywhere. That's a big, big problem. People want to get in the bus with me and have me drive them there. And that you can't do that. There are no buses. You have to go in your own vehicle yourself. So you have to learn to drive and tweak yourself. And this kind of driving to 5D or raising your vibrations, where, where, wherever you're going, if you're going up, this kind of driving is way more difficult than just driving a car because there's so many different uh, things that can be going on, things you're aware of, things that you're not, things you've got to be prepared for. But just like when you're defensively driving and you, you just instinctually watch for that car that might swerve over because there's, there's somebody that's drunk over there, that's the same way that you drive um, to the higher frequencies, <clears throat> which is also why I'm so serious, way too serious. I'm trying to be less serious because I know of all the drunk drivers that are out there so to speak. I know of all the belief systems that I have that can kick me off the road, can stall my drive, you see. So I'm always watching for them. But if you watch for them too much, you create them. So I've got to watch it for them at a glance, but not concentrate so much on them that I create them and still tweak to get on the road. And that's what I do moment to moment, day to day. And that's what I'm trying with these videos to help you do. And to give you the self-esteem to let you know, yeah, it does work, guys. It does. It, for me, whenever you're coming out of, of um, really, really a lot of trauma, a lot of pain, it is slow going at, at first. As a matter of fact, it's slow going for a while. But you can get out, and it is the only way out. So you have to do this. You have to get the hang of it. So if you run into a problem 
I've got like, what, 300 videos up almost now? You can find a video that will probably answer your question. So watch my videos over and over again, guys. Watch them over and over again. Because when you first watch them, you may not have had that or even realized that you'd had that circumstance to deal with. Now, if you go back and watch the videos, then you can go, oh, yeah, that happened to me and this is what I could have done. Or it's happening to me now. If you really get into the flow, you'll be drawn to, to the video that you're dealing with the issue in the moment. That will help too. Okay? So, uh, yeah. And listen, I don't want the star seeds, you know, the stuff that I said about star seeds and star seeds being miserable and bad things happening because miserable people, blah, blah, blah. I don't want that to get down on the star seeds. But let's be real here. I'm a star seed. It is, it is painful for star seeds. That's the reason why I'm doing the videos, guys, is so that I can let you know that death is, you can get out of this uh, to give you hope. And a hope I find just does makes all the difference, makes all the difference in the world. Hope does. So I want you to know that you can get home. You can attempt to get home now. You can raise your vibration, do the best that you can. At least it gives you something to do and makes makes more sense than just keeping doing stuff in the game that you don't understand. That makes no sense. It seems to be a backwards because it is. So this gives you something to do, something to move forward. And ultimately, you are an infinite being. You've always been and you always will be. So as long as this, I know the decades here feel like they're lasting forever. But on the other side, outside of this illusion, this life will be put into a perspective that you will look at it differently. You will look at it differently and you will be amazed and you will be happy that you had this experience, no matter how bad it was. You really will. Uh, you guys know a little tiny bit of my history, a little tiny bit. It's way, way worse, way worse. And I was on the other side looking back going, wow, that's awesome. Now, now, and I, I, I do remember that outside of the now, it was like, good job, way to go. Everything was cool, uh, good, bad, ugly here and everywhere else. But when you get back in it and you're in physical form and you're stuck in time, play it, space, it just, you know, it just seems to take forever. But I want you to know, especially those that are older, you guys know how fast time flies. The older you get, just hang in there. Just hang in there. It will not last forever. It cannot last forever uh, because of this game. It's not set up that way. So it will be over. You do have hope. Okay. So smile, smile. It may be a, a tough gig, but you're only here for one lifetime. Whereas the long-term humans, they've been here for millions of lifetimes. Can you imagine that? Like I said, whoa. Okay. All right, guys. So uh, see how that works for you. And uh, yeah, hopefully you can use that and have a really good day today. All right. Huge hugs. Love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.